Okay, so here's a quick example of LumaShare connected to LumaBooth. So the setup I'm doing here, this iPad you see here is running LumaShare connected to that iPad booth running Luma booth and I have a secondary screen which is getting cast uh, from the LumaShare device that's sitting on the table here. So that's going to do a slideshow of the booth pictures. There's only one booth picture there now so that one's up. Excuse the mess, we're still cleaning up from the weekend. So here you go. So the booth's going to come in, do its uh, do its thing. I guess I could have did a test setup that was not three pictures, but that's what I loaded. So there's our picture. And going to the booth comes right to LumaShare pretty quickly. And there it is. I've got pretty much everything turned on. Email, text, Twitter, AirDrop, scan QR code, and print. Um, I don't have a printer set up right now, so that would obviously be turned off. QR code, uh, I'm connected to the internet uh, here, so it's going to show that quickly. If you don't have internet, uh, you're not going to get the QR code option. Uh, SMS, let's guess text the picture to them, and email lets you email the picture. So now we see the slideshow is automatically uh, just changing through the pictures. Uh, now that there's two pictures there, you can <laughs> the only the only difference is my hand and and the screen changes. So that is basically the the short version of LumaShare. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. And there you go. Well, I guess I should say uh, I am using uh, a travel Wi-Fi router. This is what I use for all my booths. Um, that's creating my network for my whole booth setup and also connecting to my warehouse studio uh, internet to provide internet. If you had a hotspot or other device, uh, like a venue internet, you could connect that as well. Let me know if you have any questions.